Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Alam ko pong excited na po ang bawat buhay ng bawat isa and we welcome everyone na nananonood po sa ating Jesus Christ the Power and Strength Ministry Midweek Service. A blessed evening po, po to all. Ayan po, welcome po sa ating 18 viewers ngayong gabi pong ito. Magandang magandang gabi po sa bawat buhay ng bawat isa. Ayan po, you can mention and you can also share This link po ngayong gabi pong ito, maaari nyo pong ipasa or pwede nyo pong i-mention ng lahat ng inyong mga dinidisciple, lahat ng inyong kaibigan sa ating pong midweek service. And I know that everyone is very excited again to be blessed sa mga salita ng Diyos na ating marininig ngayong gabi pong ito. Ayan, welcome po sa ating 16 viewers ngayong gabi po. Welcome po sa ating mga viewers. Happy viewing po. Ate Ivy, welcome po. Ate Morielle, ayan. Uh, Sir Charlie Romano Bakongan, welcome po. Mr. Renato Mirabales, Miss Charmaine Gil Cabral Padpad, yan po. Miss J J Mr. J Jason Mendez, ayan po, welcome po. Miss Danica Vargas, welcome po sa bawat buhay ng bawat isa. Again, you can mention and you can share this link. Pwede nyo pong i-share ang ating pong gawain ngayong gabi. Because I believe na hindi lamang po tayo yung mapapagpala at hindi lamang po tayong muli yung mababago yung buhay, mga attitude po natin. Maging kapag sinare po natin ang, ang video na ito, I believe that someone else sa ating mga news feed, sa ating social media, ay patuloy ding mapapagpala ng bawat salitang maririnig sa pamamagitan ng mga lingkod na kanyang mga ginagamit. Hallelujah! Welcome po, Ma'am C, sa gabi pong ito. Welcome po, Miss Rizal Marie Baluto. Miss Gloria Bumagat Dungo, welcome po. Magandang magandang gabi po sa bawat buhay ng bawat isa. Welcome po sa ating 22 viewers. And meron po kaming announcement today. Hindi po tayo makakapag-live sa ating YouTube channel. Pagkat meron po tayong some technical glitches and difficulties. May mga uh, uh, sobrang hina po ng ating net. Kaya hindi po tayo makapasok sa ating YouTube. But we are live dito po sa ating Facebook page. Sa ngayon po ay nasa Facebook page lamang po tayo live. And again, you can share this link. You can share this watch for, uh, as a watch party. And you can mention and uh, uh, comment all your friends, mga dinidisciple po at ating mga kapatid sa Panginoon. Ayan po. Welcome po, Miss Riza Todok. Welcome din po, Miss Nice Bungalos Lunas. Magandang gabi po sa bawat buhay ng bawat isa. Welcome po sa ating 23 viewers ngayong gabi pong ito. Welcome po, Nanay Adela Avenhor. Welcome po, Ate Lizelle. Ayan, nakikita ko na po ang inyong mga pangalan na nagko-comment ng iba pang mga pangalan. And thank you for that. At kung hindi pa po kayo nakakapag-like and follow to this page, sa ating pong official page ng Jesus Christ sa Power and Strength Ministry, you can uh, uh, like and follow our page. At kung may nakikita man po kayong mga gumagalaw dyan sa ilalim nyo, uh, ito po yung ating legit Uh, Gcash and Gcash and BDO account and if you are blessed to this ministry and to this church you can freely give. Amen po ba because we know to those people who are uh, cheerfully nagbibigay sa ating Diyos ay higit ang pagbabalik ng Panginoon exceedingly, abundantly and far beyond that we could ever ask and think yun yung ibabalik ng Panginoon Hallelujah! Welcome po sa ating pong 21 viewers ngayong umag gabi pong ito isang minuto na lamang po at tayo po yung magsisimula na again, please comment and mention all your friends Dini disciple, pamilya, ayan po, sa gabi pong ito. Welcome po, Ate Leslie, ayan po. Welcome po, Ate Precious Ann, Ate Princess Joy. Welcome po sa inyong mga buhay. Welcome po sa ating 22 viewers this night. And if you are excited, I know that everyone is very excited to meet again the Lord through this virtual service. I know and I believe that your heart is already on fire at ready na uhaw. Ready na at uhaw pang makatagpong muli ang ating Diyos sa pamamagitan ng virtual uh, uh, online services na ito. And if you are excited at ganun na lamang ang uhaw sa Panginoon, please comment po, i-comment nyo po para alam po namin na kayo po'y kaisa, sa, kaisa namin ngayong gabi pong ito. Please comment po, I am excited to worship the Lord. Again, I am excited to worship the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It's already 7.35. Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah. Sige po, sa inyo pong kanya-kanyang tahanan, samahan niyo po akong manalangin ngayong gabi pong ito. And if you have the gift, and if you are able to speak in tongues, please, Uh, asamahan niyo po kami and let us all pray in the spirit kurabas shikarabababas sandaralaya babas sakarabababas shindaralayan din kurabas sakarabababababas shikaralaya bababas sikaralayan din kurabababababas shikarabababas sikaralayayayan din hurabababas sakarabas shikaralayayayan din Hira ba 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 sa karaba si karaba ba ba sandara ba 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 si karala yande Hallelujah Hallelujah Lord Holy Spirit We welcome you upon this place in even sa bawat tahanan, sa bawat lugar, Panginoon, kung saan nanonood po ang iyong mga anak. Dalangin po namin, O Diyos, na sa gabi pong ito, nahipuin mo po yung bawat puso ng bawat isa, ng sagayon, Panginoon, na kami makikinig, hindi lamang makikinig, but Lord, after this service, after virtual service, there will be a transformation upon our minds, upon our hearts, and even to our being, Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon. Naniniwala po kami ng ngayong gabi pong ito na ikay magpapagaling, Panginoon. You will feel every emptiness of those people na ang heart, Panginoon, ay empty. Kaya, Panginoon, patuloy namin inilalagak sa iyo ang gawain ito. Nakikita mo pong lubos, o oh Diyos, ang bawat puso ng bawat isang uhaw na lumala Kapit sa iyo, regardless, Panginoon, kung nasaan man kami, sa biyahe man kami, nasa tahanan man kami, or kung nasa ang lugar man kami. And Lord, we are praying this night, God, na patuloy masumpungan namin ang iyong pangalan, masumpungan ka namin, Jesus, na aming Diyos at tagapagligtas. Salamat po, Panginoon, dinideklara po namin ang katagumpayan mo sa aming mga buhay. Dinideklara po namin ang katagumpayan mo sa service na ito. Maghari ka, Panginoon, madakila ka, gumalaw ka o Diyos, you can freely do whatever you want to do upon our lives, even to the service o God. Salamat po Panginoon, sa iyo po namin iniaalay ang aming mga buhay Panginoon, maging ang pagsamba ngayong gabi pong ito, patuloy po namin ibinibigay sa iyo, maging mabangong sa iyo po lahat ng aming gagawin sa iyong paanan and mataas ka Panginoon, ikaw yung makita sa aming mga buhay, for you said in your word that depart from you God, we cannot do anything. That's why, God, we humble ourselves before you. We acknowledge you as our Lord and ruler of our lives, God. Salamat po sa iyo ang lahat ng kapurihan sa pangalan ni Jesus at lahat ng mananampalataya at kumikilala sa ating Diyos na buhay ay magsabi ng malakas na Amen and Amen and Amen and Amen. Hallelujah! 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 Sige po, if you can clap your hands, if you can shout to your houses, please do so. Amen? Kasi po, ngayong gabi pong ito, ang linggo po ay ang, ang, ang pagsamba po ng todo, ang pagpalakpak ng todo, ang pagsigaw ng todo ay di lang ginagawa face to face or nasa even Sunday lamang. And even to our Wednesday service, kahit virtual man, if you can clap your hands, you can shout, you can sing praises unto God, please do so. Amen? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And before we worship the Lord this night, I know that everyone ay may kanya-kanya po kayong battle sa inyong mga buhay. Amen. Pero alam nyo po, share ko lang po dun sa 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 1 to 22 kung saan po dun si Jehoshaphat, kung saan po dun ay siya ay makikipaglaban. Sabi po nila dun sa verse na yun, Lord, we do not, do meron po kasi silang battle. Sabi po niya dun, Lord, we do not know what to do, but we set our eyes on you. Amen? In verse 22, sabi po doon, as they begin, as they begin sing, as they begin sing praises and worship the Lord, the Lord set an ambush to their enemy, and their enemy was defeated. Amen? Alam ko pong may kanya-kanyang battle po tayo sa ating mga buhay, but ngayong gabi pong ito, as we worship God, as we sing praise unto the Lord, He is, uh, the Lord enables uh, uh, to show His power unto our lives during our worship in our, in our praise. Amen? Kaya pag tayo po'y sumasamba at kumasamba, 
kumakanta ng pagpupuri sa Panginoon, anumang labanan mo sa buhay, amen, mararamdaman mo na pinagtagumpayan na yon ng ating Diyos na buhay. Hallelujah! Kaya sige po ngayong gabi pong ito, sama-sama po tayong sumigaw, sama-sama po tayong magpuri sa ating Diyos na buhay. Hallelujah! We bless you, Jesus! We give you praise! We give you glory! Hallelujah! Minsan ang ating kaaway, pilit nating natangay ang damdamin. At sa ating pagpupuri, ako'y lubos na nagtagumpay. Minsan pa para sa lahat ng tagumpay. Minsan ang ating kaaway, pilit nating natangay ang damdamin. At sa ating pagpupuri, ako'y lubos na nag... Para sa lahat ng tagumpay at ramdam niyong kayo'y tagumpay na let us sing this. Minsan ang ating kaaway, pilit natin na tangay ang damdamin. At sa ating pagpupuri, ako'y lubos na nag... Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Kay sarap-sarap pa rin sa'yo, o oh, Panginoon, ang mga pagpapala mo. Misan pa, kay sarap-sarap pa rin sa'yo, o Diyos. Kay sarap-sarap pa rin sa'yo, o oh, Panginoon, ang mga pagpapala mo. Lubos, lubos, minsan, minsan ang ating kaaway. Pilit natin na tangay ang damdamin. At sa ating pagpupuri, ako'y lubos na nag... Ito po ang sikreto sa pananagumpay. Ang kailangan lang ay babag sa presensya mo. Babag sa iyong salita. Bakit ako'y masaya? Ang kailangan lang ay babad sa presensya mo. Babad sa iyong salita. Tulad ng isang musa na laging uhaw sa iyo. Misan pa, awitin natin kay sarap-sarap. Hallelujah! O Panginoon, ang mga pagpapalamo Lubos, misan pa kay sarap-sarap. Sarap-sarap pa rin sa'yo, O Panginoon. Ang mga pagpapalamoy. Lubos, lubos, minsan. Minsan ang ating kaaway. Pilit natin na tangay ang damdamin. At sa ating pagpupuri, ako'y lubos na na. Para sa lahat ng pinagtagumpay na ng Panginoon Minsan ang ating kaaway Pilit natin na tangay ang damdamin At sa ating pagpumpuri Ako'y lubos Minsan pa para sa lahat ng mananagumpay ng Panginoon Minsan ang ating kaaway Pilit natin na tangay ang damdamin at sa ating pagpupuri, ako'y lubos na nag... Hallelujah! Ang sikreto ay, ay babad sa presensya mo, babad sa iyong salita, babad ang sikreto ko, kung bakit ako'y masaya, kailangan lang ay babad sa presensya mo, babad sa iyong salita, Tulad ng isang usa na lagi misal pa ang kailangan lang ay sa presensya mo, babad sa iyong salita, babad ang sikreto ko kung bakit ako ay masaya. Ang kailangan lang ay babad sa presensya mo, babad sa iyong salita, tulad ng isang usa. Misan pa kay sarap-sarap sa piling ng Diyos. Kay sarap-sarap pa rin sa'yo, O Panginoon, ang mga pagpapala mo. Misan pa kay sarap-sarap. Kay sarap-sarap pa rin sa'yo, O Panginoon, ang mga pagpapala mo. Lubos, lubos, minsan. 
Buksan ang ating kaway Pilip natin na tangay ang damdamin At sa ating pagpupuri Ako'y lubos na na Hallelujah! Para sa lahat ng ramdam nilang sila'y tagumpay na Hallelujah! Pilip natin na tangay ang damdamin At sa ating pagpupuri Ako'y lubos na nagtagumpay Hallelujah! Alam niyo po, sa gabi pong ito, ramdam na ramdam ko po na ang bawat buhay ng bawat isa na may pinagdadaan ng battle tonight and even to this past few days, naniniwala po ako na as we sing and as we worship the Lord our God, pagtatagumpay na at pinagtagumpay na tayo ng ating Diyos na buhay. Amen! As we sing, Minsan ang ating kaaway, pilit natin na tangay ang damdamin at sa ating pagpupuri, ako'y lubos na nagtagumpay. Minsan lang pa po kung kaya nating ilakas, let us do it. Minsan ang ating kaaway, pilit natin na tangay ang damdamin at sa ating pagpupuri, ako'y lubos na Hallelujah! This is the secret! Hallelujah! Ay babad sa presensya mo Babad sa iyong salita Babad ang sikreto ko Kung bakit ako'y masaya Ang kailangan lang ay babad sa presensya mo Babad sa iyong salita Tulad ng isang usa Na laging uhaw sa'yo Babad ng sikreto ko Kung bakit ako'y masaya Ang kailangan lang Sa presensya mo Babad sa iyong salita Tulad ng isang usa Na laging uhaw sa'yo Tulad ng isang usa Na laging uhaw sa'yo Let us sing hymns, let us sing thanksgiving unto the Lord. Hallelujah, we give you praise, Jesus. We honor you tonight. Karapat dapat ka. Puhihing at sambahin. Karapat dapat ialay sa'yo, Jesus. Ating papuri Pagsamong mapalapit sa'yo Nag-aalap sa aming puso Pagmamahal sa'yo Dahil ikaw lang ang Panginoon Dakila ka, Jesus Dakila ka Dakila ka Ay Diyos na banal, sa amin ay maghari ka, dakila ka, dakila ka. Sa'yo alay ang aming pagsamba, misan pa karapat dapat ka o Diyos. Aming papuri Pagsamong mapalapit sa'yo Nag-aalap sa aming puso Pagmamahal sa'yo Dahil ikaw lang ang Panginoon Dakila ka Dakila ka 
Diyos na banal Sa amin ay maghari ka Dakila ka Dakila ka Sa'yo alay ang aming pagsamba Dakila ka Dakila ka Dakila ka, O Diyos. Dakila ka. Dakila ka. Ikaw'y Diyos na banal. Sa amin ay maghari ka. Dakila ka. Dakila ka. Sa'yo alay ang nga buong puso po nating awitin ang kadakilaan ng Dakila ka, dakila ka, ikaw'y Diyos na banal, sa amin ay maghari ka. Dakila ka, dakila ka, sa'yo alay ang aming pagsamba. Pagkat ikaw ay karapat, dapat na sambahin, O Jesus, ang alan mo, ang alan mo, ang alan mo itatas. O Jesus, ang alan mo, ang alan mo. Let's 
Sabihin ang pangalan mo, Jesus. Walang ibang pangalang makapangyarihan. Kung di ka, O Diyos, purihin ka, Panginoon. Sambahin ang ngalan mong banal. Wala kang katulad, Panginoon. Walang katulad ang pangalan mo. Purihin ka ang lubos. Makapangyarihan ka. Makapangyarihan ka. Sa'yo namin ibinabalik. Ang lahat sa iyo namin ibinabalik ang lahat sa iyo ibinabalik ang lahat ng papuri ang pagdakila at ang pagluwal hati pagkat ikaw ay karapat dapat na sambahi, O Jesus, ang ngalan mo, ang ngalan mo, ang ngalan mo ay itataas. Panginoon, sa iyo po namin ibinabalik ang lahat ng pagpupuri pagsamba, pagdakila, pagluwalhati, at pagpaparangal. Sinabi mo sa iyong mga salita, ang lahat ng bagay ay nagmula sa iyo. Kaya Panginoon, ngayong gabi pong ito, at sa lahat ng aming ginagawa, lahat ng oras ng aming paggawa sa iyo, ibinabalik po namin ito sa iyong pangalan, pagkat karapat dapat ka sa mga bagay na ito, O Diyos. Panginoon, naniniwala po kami na ngayong gabi, na as we sing, as we, as we sang, O oh Lord God, your worship, and as we sing praise to you, Lord, and as, as we worship your name, nagpagaling ka, Panginoon, nagpalaya ka ngayong gabi pong ito. Salamat, Panginoon, sa katagumpayan na ibinigay mo sa aming mga buhay. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa walang hanggang pagmamahal mo po sa aming mga buhay. O Diyos, sa iyo po ang lahat ng kapurihan. This is all our worship and everybody will say Amen and Amen and Amen and Amen. Hallelujah! A blessed evening to everyone. Maranata Shalom po. It's again, it's our midweek service tonight. We thank God for the privilege again to speak upon you. Talagang namiss ka po kayo. We thank God for the answers, prayers atin pong prayer meeting last time. So tonight, I'm so excited to share with you the word of the living God. And if you are excited, kindly type to our comment section, I'm excited to hear the word of the Lord. Because I believe God has already in store something great to each one of us. And for those people who are expecting from the word of the Lord, from the truth of the Lord, you will receive tonight. So ngayong gabi po, Naniniwala ko may magandang gagawin ng Diyos sa atin as we continue to wait upon the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are continuously preparing ourselves for great things and for the supernatural move of the living God. And believe so that now is the time of supernatural. Now is the time that the Holy Spirit is continuously working to each one of us. So ngayong gabi po, samahan niyo po ako manalangin. I know that we are blessed in worshiping the Lord. Let us continue to exalt the Lord and worship God through hearing the word of God. So come, let us come in prayer tonight. Father in heaven, we thank you. Lord, ikaw yung dahilan ng lahat ng paglilingkod po namin, lahat ng ginagawa po namin, ikaw po ito, Panginoon. It is all about you, Jesus Christ. We thank you for this day. We thank you, God, for uh, 
we for 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 you are with us right now and even lord sa mga pagsamba pagpupuri po namin at pakikinig ng iyong salita i know that you are in this place as your word says two or three gather in your name you are upon our knees and we thank you for the promises that you will never leave us nor forsake us we thank you also god for the victory that you've given to us through hearing your mighty word i pray that your word will become alive to each hearer right now and to every one of us there will be no exemption Because I believe your word is moving and working to each one of us. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. Use your servant as a channel of your blessing alone. Lord, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way to each one of us. Maging sa iyong lingkod at sa lahat ng mga nakakapakinig at nanonood po ng virtual service pong ito. Father, we thank you because we know na ikaw lang po ang tagumpay sa aming mga buhay. Jesus Christ, Lord, you never change. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever you are still in the throne on the throne in heaven and we believe you are victorious in our midst holy spirit thank you for convicting us thank you god for working to each one of us tonight this all we pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and everybody says amen kindly type it in your our comment section amen if you are ready to hear the word of the living god so tonight na po kagaya ng sinabi ko po to start the year 2021 i have spoken and i have preached i have taught i have teached in this midweek service yung tatlong bagay that we really need for this 2021 just to recap po no the first midweek service that we have i told everyone we speak na po we talk about yung mantle of the holy spirit importation of the holy spirit and the activation of the holy spirit and almost for two months from from january up to Now, after February, we are talking about the mantle of the Spirit. For the past days, we talk about the Holy Spirit. In the past, we are talking about the Holy Spirit. Not just the mantle, but the Holy Spirit. We keep knowing the Holy Spirit so that we are able to know and understand our real purpose and source in the ministry. So, dun po sa series that we, we, we are teaching right now, yung mantle of the Spirit, kinilala natin yung banal na Espiritu because He is the one who's giving us the mantle. He is the one who's giving us everything po sa buhay natin. And I believe it is the Holy Spirit who's giving us everything today. Our ministry, the supernatural, the power, the miracles, the wonders, the, the, the evangelization, it is the work of of the Holy Spirit. We believe it is about the Holy Spirit. That's why we talk in the past about the Holy Spirit, no? So that we are, we can understand and we can know a real purpose and source in the ministry. So I'm just going to touch a little bit the mantle because today we are going to talk about the importation of the Holy Spirit. Mantle is God-given task to us. Again, I'll, 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 I'll repeat it. Mantle is the God-given task to us. We talk about the Holy Spirit, the source of our mantle, the source of everything. Pinag-usapan po natin yan. And yung mantle, ito po, it talks about the task, the mandate that God has given to us. And without the Holy Spirit, we are not able, we cannot cannot operate the mantle of the living God without the Holy Spirit. That's why I focus to the person of the Holy Spirit. So that I believe so. I believe that when we receive the mantle, when we understood our given task unto the Lord, we have this power, we have this source, and that is the Holy Spirit to do those things mandate to each one of us those tasks that God has given to each one of us that's why mantle is God given task and I believe that mantle anointing power wisdom knowledge and even the gift of the Holy Spirit can be imparted to each one of us that's why tonight we are going to move to move right now to the series that we're talking about yung tatlong bagay na kailangan po natin for 2021 we're done in the mantle of the Holy Spirit We talk about the person of the Holy Spirit. We talk about the mantle of the Holy Spirit. Now, we are going to talk about the impartation of the Holy Spirit. All right? We are going to talk about the impartation of the Holy Spirit. So, I believe so. I believe that we don't own anything here in this world. 
everything is just a borrowed our life, a borrowed lang, hiniram lang po natin to sa Panginoon, and I know that our lives must be given to our God, to our King, because this is just a borrowed life, so we must give it for the glory of the living God, we don't own anything here in this world, that's why I believe, I believe in able for us to bring the best of us. I believe in the thoughts of cross-pollination. Okay? Ano po yung cross-pollination? When you know yung isang bulaklak po, yung, it, it talks about the flowers. Okay? Para may lumabas na magandang flowers, some insects will bring pollens okay, to other flower and then idadalin ito sa iba't ibang flower so that it will be able na mag-pollinate. Okay? Makapag-produce ng bago. So, ibig sabihin, may mga kinuwang mga pollens, other, other, other flowers, and it is, it's a gather pollens na napinagsama-sama so that it will produce a beautiful flower. I believe so that every Christian's I believe every Christian will produce also a better Christian or a better service if we understand this importation. A gather of this pollens of the Holy Spirit. Hello? We can learn from others. We can learn from our mentors. We can learn to one another. And if we learn from one another, I believe so. It is our result. The result will be the better person, the better Christian, the better servants of the living God. That's why I believe so through the impartation of the Holy Spirit, no, through the impartation of the Holy Ghost, we will become much better person than we could ever have in this word. So, again, we're going to talk about importation of the Holy Spirit today. So, I just I just really want to show you something because there are kinds of importation right now. No, there are kinds of importation. We have to understand that. Three kinds of importation just to be quick. First, in Matthew 28 verse 19, this is the greatest commandment to every one of us and this importation is given importation. Everyone has given the responsibility to make disciples. Every one of us must participate to give in our uh, importation, all right? We have to participate in this given importation. Again, the first kind of importation is given importation. Like this, I'm giving also, I'm teaching right now. So, I believe so. this is a given importation also, all right? So, that's what we are to do, everyone. Every believer has this responsibility to make disciples because God has commanded everyone to make disciples as Matthew 28 verse 19 says. That is a given importation. The second second kind of importation according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners all right so the second kinds of importation is a shared importation okay so it simply means speaking of sphere of influence okay your shared importation is a sphere of influence okay so parang ganito po yan kung sino yung madalas mong kasama it influence you and whether you accept it or not you have you can get something or you can give something to them. That's why it's a shared impartation. Na she share means and that's why yan yung sinasabi, bad company corrupts good character. That's what first Corinthians verse 15, 33 says. Is speaking of sphere of influence. It's a shared impartation. All right? That's why we have to be careful. For those people na nilalapitan natin, dinidikitan po natin because we can share or we can take or we can receive an importation or give some importation to them. Remember, ang importation po, either you imported good or bad. Alright? Neither you will be imported good or you will be imported bad. That's, but that's why we have to be careful to the impartation that we are going to receive. Last kind of impartation is receive impartation and this is we, what we are going to talk about tonight. 
okay? 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19 to 21, where, okay, just read it in your home, where Elisha was called by Elijah, okay, where Elijah saw Elisha and asked him to follow him so that he will, he will be imported by the same mantle and the anointing that God has given to Elijah. And the third kind of importation is a receive importation, right? Receive importation that's the three kinds of importation given importation share importation and receive importation receive importation it's about the power of the living god or the mandate that god has given to us the mantle that god has deposited to each heart or to each one of us given by the servant of the living god the mentors or even god himself that is a receive import so tonight that's what we are going to talk about the receive importation all right how we can receive that importation of the holy spirit all right are you there church kindly type to our comment section kung nasusundan niyo po ako na po i receive importation receive importation so our bible foundation right now you can read it in second kings chapter 2 verse 1 to 14 at kanina po first kings chapter 19 verse 19 to 21 and we can see it na po dito po sa second kings i know some of you you are familiar to these kinds of importation most especially to this story of importation of elijah and elisha i know some of you you can relate or maybe some of you you will know you know this 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 verse right now or this chapter so kindly read it in your home in second kings chapter 2 verse 1 to 14 but the story here is the story of elisha and elijah and i believe god does bless his word right now all right god does bless his word right now as you read the verse the verses or the praise that we are going to study tonight okay our topic for today is the impartation of the holy spirit and how we are able to receive an impartation and if you're going to see it in this chapter or in this passage we can see that elisha life has given us the best example for us to seize and receive an importation again i'm going to, to repeat it elisha's life in this this passage in this message elisha's life has given us the best example for us to seize receive an impartation of the lord and even the servant of the living god so we will see there we will see here okay makikita po natin dito yung example ni elisha how he received an impartation so i know you know the story the story is just to just to to run in the the story or the praise yung story po na kung saan si elijah ay kukunin na po ng pakinoon all right and si Elijah hindi umiwalay kay Elijah, okay? Elisha never leave Elijah. Nung kukunin na siya na si Elijah nang kukunin na si Elijah ng ating Panginoon. And Elisha asked something that is hard for Elijah and that is the double portion of the anointing that comes from the Lord. That's why Elijah says, na po, it's very hard. What you ask is very hard. But if you're going to see me, that God has taken me, then you will receive the impartation or you will receive a double portion of the anointing. And if you are ready tonight, I believe and I really sense right now in the spirit of the living God that some of us, this is our desire, that some of us, we really decide to receive from the Holy Spirit, to receive from the man of God, from the, from the Lord, a double portion of the anointing. The anointing Thing that can break the yoke the power the supernatural power that do the impossible things in the eyes of men i believe tonight to everyone who expect right now and believing in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth we will receive like elisha experience to elisha amen puba Amen po ba? So let's talk about the life of Elisha. What I see in the life of Elisha, why he received, why he sees, why he, he received an impartation from the Holy Spirit and from the servant of the living God. So let's see this. The first thing that Elisha, example, the best example of Elisha to us, first is the praise as the Lord lives and your soul lives. Ito po yung when, when Elijah is, is, is journey 
having a journey or making a travel to Bethel, Jordan, right? If I'm not mistaken, yung po yung lugar na pinuntahan ni 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 Elijah, no? Yung mga dinaanan niya. Elijah is saying to Elisha, stay here. Stay here. But Elisha is insisting to Elijah that as long as the Lord lives and your soul lives, right? I will not leave you. Again, and I think that's the verse 2. Uh, kung mababasa po natin sa verse 2 and sa mga succeeding verse, just find it for yourself. But three times, Elijah has spoken that. Na po, ang sabi niya kay Elijah, Elijah is saying to Elisha, when he's going to battle, sabi ni the first, the first place, sabi ni Elijah kay Elisha, stay here. But Elisha insisted, sabi, insisted, no, insists. And Elisha says to Elijah, no, as long as the Lord lives and your soul lives, I will not Live you, says Elisha. And the first, the first example that God, I mean, Elisha has given to us, enabled for us to receive the importation of the Holy Spirit or to seize the importation of the Holy Spirit is the word commitment. Okay? From the trace, you will see the commitment of Elisha. That trace is an indication that we are actively participating to all what God is doing through the man of God or even to our church or to our mother church. Commitment. So that's an indication that we are actively, all right? Actively. We're there doing things, stop seeing everything, seeing the vision, feeling the burden, feeling the weights of the vision, doing everything, participating, no? participating to all what God is doing. Actively, I mean, actively participating to all what God is doing through the man of God and even to our church. That is commitment. Hello? That's the commitment. Commitment doesn't uh, choose things. No? Hindi namimili ang paglilingkod when you have commitment. Okay? So sabi ni Elisha, maghintay ka dyan. Kasi maaring siguro Elisha will not have a benefits. Pwede sabihin ni Elisha, okay, alright, kukunin naman siya. Then, pwede sabihin niya, okay, sige, maghihintay na lang ako dito. Pagbalik niya, susundan ko. But Elisha insisted that wherever Elijah will go, will go or will come, then Elisha will follow, will actively participating to what Elijah is going to do or what God is going to do in the life of Elijah. That's why commitment is very important. Okay? Alright, commitment enable for us to seize and receive the importation of the Holy Spirit we have to commit. Okay? You have to commit. Commit yourselves to God first. Siyempre, to God. You have to commit yourselves to God. Sabi niya doon, as the Lord lives and commit to the man of God. Hello, andyan po ba kayo? Commit first to God and commit to the servant of God or to the man of God that has put it into your life. That God has put into your life. Whether we accept it or not, there is always someone above us. There is a pastor, an authority that God has given to each one of us. You have to understand that. Yes, we thank God that we are all equal in the love of God and in the grace of the living God. But in the operating, in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, there is always a rank, an authority or a level. All right? Because without that, there will be a chaos inside the house of the living God. That's why you have to understand that when you are not a senior pastor of the church, then it simply means there is someone above you always. There is always an authority above you, a pastor, a head pastor, a senior pastor that God has given to you. That's why first, for you to say that you are committed to God, then commit also to the man of the living God. Again, commit yourselves first to God and next to the man of God. Get into the Word. Pray on your faith through the service in the church. Hello? And that is commitment. I believe the greatest example or the best illustration for commitment is marriage. Hello? So that we can understand commitment. The best illustration is marriage. Once you are tied up to the one you love, 
It is for the rest of your life, not seasonal. Again, once you are tied up, and that is marriage, and that's the best illustration for commitment, okay? Once you are tied up to the one you love, it is for the rest of your life, not seasonal, okay? Commitment is not seasonal. For you to receive an importation, you have to commit. For you to receive the importation of the Holy Spirit, you have to commit again and again. I'll say it again because this is very powerful. All right? If you really want to receive an importation of the Holy Spirit, if you really want to receive something from the Holy Spirit, you have to commit yourselves. And it's like marriage. Remember, ang marriage po ba, pag kayo po ba kinasal para sa mga taong kinasal? Kinasal kayo ngayon, bukas hindi ka na commit committed sa asawa mo? Hello? Hello? Kaya nga maraming hindi pa nagpapakasal at maraming insecure ngayon sa mga pagsasama. Why? Because there's no commitment. Hello? There's no commitment. That's why commitment, marriage is the best illustration for commitment. I believe commitment is the key to real right relationship. Without a real right relationship, there will be no importation. Again, commitment is the key for a right relationship. Without a right relationship, there will be no importation. All right? Just to make it simple, no commitment, no right relationship. No right relationship, there will be no importation. Amen? Nandiyan po ba kayo? Are you there, church? Again, just to make it simple, no commitment, there will be no right relationship. No right relationship, there will be no impartation. Elisha has this commitment to God. Elisha has this commitment to the men of God so that they are ab he is able to have a right relationship to the men of God even though he saw the flaws of the man of God but yet he has that right relationship that's why he received an impartation from the men of God and even to God. Again, to make it simple, no commitment, no, no right relationship. No right relationship, there will be no impartation. That's why the first thing that we can learn from Elijah's life is commitment, right? A life of commitment. Type it right now in our comment section if you are following me, commitment. Hello, and po ba kayo? Commitment that is not seasonal, but commitment for the rest of your life. Yes, church, I'm challenging you. Bible says that in the last days, God's going to pour out His Spirit upon all flesh. He's about to impart everything. God is about to impart the fullness of the Holy Spirit when you believe. But all we have to do, when we believe, we have to step by faith and commit. To what we are believing today. So now is the time for you to commit. Wag na magpaligoy-ligoy. Commit na so that you are able to receive something from the Holy Spirit. Next thing, according to 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19 to 20. All right, let's read this verse. Okay, this story is about Elisha seeing Elisha and asking Elisha to come with him. So he departed thence, verse 19. Sabi po doon, so he departed thence. And found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was flowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him and with the twelve. And Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. Cast his, cast his mantle upon him. See that? And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow thee. And have said unto him, Go back again for what? Have I done to you? All right, the story is talking about the call of Elisha and asking Eli, asking Elijah, asking Elisha to follow him. No, he has has cast his mantle upon him, and Elisha feel no, he felt that call. That's why, if we're going to see this, the second illustration or example that we can see in the life of Elisha is a life of sacrifice. Kanina, a life of commitment. Now, it's a life of sacrifices. You've got to understand we need to truthfully give up something in able for us to receive an impartation. Why I'm telling truthfully give up something in able for us to, lead, to receive something from the Lord or to receive an impartation? Because you will see this. Elisha had to leave his work and follow I mean 
Elisha had to leave his work. I'll repeat that. Elisha had to leave his work and family to follow the men of God. In these verses, you will see that Elisha must have to leave his work and family to follow God. That's why the second point that you're going to see in able for us to receive an impartation of the Holy Spirit is sacrifices. There are times we have to give something for us to receive from the Lord. There are areas in our life that is hard for us to let go. Most often we are attached in our past, right? Past accomplishment, past hurts, hello, etc. and etc. and etc. So on. But You've got to understand or in the things that we are convenient. But you've got to understand this, that there are times we have to leave all those things. We have to leave our work. We have to leave our family. We have to leave everything in our lives so that we are able to receive the impartation of the Holy Spirit. Again, in these verses, in this praise, you will see that Elisha has a life of sacrifice just to pursue the call and follow the man of God. He has to leave his family. He has to leave his work. And sacrifices is the key for us to receive an impartation of the Holy Spirit. Church, if you are following me, kindly type it to our comment section, sacrifices. Now, Paul, we've got to sacrifice sometimes. Ito yung, this is what mommy teach us, taught us. Now, Paul, in my young age, when I'm studying college and even high school, every time na uuwi po ako ng tahanan, then we have Bible study. Sasabihin ko, Mami, I, I have to rest. Mag-rest ako, magpapahinga ako. Lagi niyang sinasabi sa akin that I never forget. Ang lagi niyang sasabihin, I thank God, though nasa isip ko naman, I study it all because I really want to glorify God. But whether we accept it or not, there are times we study it all because for our own sake. Hello, wanja po ba kaya? That's the truth. For our family, for our own sake. Lagi niya sinasabi, you're doing that, you have done that for yourself, and even for your future, and for your family. But, ano yung ginawa natin sa Panginoon? That's why there are times we have to sacrifice before the Lord. Hello? Hello, wanja po ba kayo? Yes, it's not bad. Hindi po mali that we're going to work. Hindi mali na dapat talaga po tayo nag-aral. Kailangan natin yan tapusin. But there are times in this life, in able for us to receive an importation, we have to sacrifice. Hello? And Elisha gave the best example to each one of us. A life of sacrifice. Third thing, in able for us to receive an importation of the Holy Spirit. Okay? We can read it also in first 19 I mean first Kings chapter 19 verse 19 to 20 makikita po natin diyan na po in other version I think sa uh, NLT version you will read in the in the last verse ang 21 if I'm not mistaken after he followed the men of God and 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 in that verse ang nakalagay doon then he becomes a servant of Elisha he becomes a servant so the third thing enabled for us to receive an importation of the Holy Spirit, we must have a life of servanthood. Servanthood. Kindly type in the comment section if you are following me right now. Servanthood. Okay? You have to be working. You have to be, to be, uh, 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 you have to serve the Lord. Take note. When Elisha saw Elijah, I mean, when Elijah saw Elisha, Elisha is in the work. Is at work. Hello, anjan po ba kayo? When Elijah saw Elisha, he saw Elisha at the midst of work. That's why we have to be servant. And if you're going to see also Jesus Christ, when he called the disciples, the disciples are in the midst of sea. They are working because they are fishers of men. They are working. That's why if you really want to receive an impartation of the Holy Spirit, we must have a servanthood like servanthood god will not pick us without nothing to do that's why we need to be a servant we always you always hear it to me you always hear it to daddy god will not anoint us for nothing he's not going to give you something he's not give, going to give you power he's not giving going to give you the holy spirit the gifts of the holy spirit for you to make nala hello no that's why we need to be a servant Hello, andyan din po ba kayo? Same thing. We cannot receive an impartation if there is nothing to be done. God will not pick us up 
God will not pick us without nothing to do. That's why we need to be servant. Same thing. We cannot receive an impartation if there is nothing to be done. Hello? Remember this. We receive from God through the man of God for the reasons of service. Hello? Andiyan po ba kayo? Are you there at church? You will receive an impartation coming from the Lord through the servant of the living God. Why? The reason is for the service. Acts 1.8, you can read it. The power of the Holy Ghost will come when the Holy Spirit comes upon us. The power will come. But why the Holy Spirit will come? Why we will receive the power for us to become a witness to Judea, Samaria, and even to all parts of the world? It simply means when the Holy Spirit imparted something to each one of us, there is something must be done. There is something to be done. Hello, andyan po ba kayo? Meron tayong gagawin. Merong ipapagawa ang Diyos sa buhay po natin. That's why you will see, no, you will, you can see that in the life of Elisha, he lived a life of a servanthood. That's why you're going to see it in, in 2 Kings chapter 2. He never lived Elisha. He follow, he assist Elijah, wherever he go, that's why he received what he asked for Elijah. Lastly, pinagsama ko na lang po so that it will be short for each one of us. Okay? The praise. Kanina, sinimulan po natin yung praise na as the Lord lives and your soul lives. Right? But if going to see it, my, connect, my connection done. And I sabi doon, I will not leave you. I will not leave you. I saw it here in the life of Elisha. I will not leave you. If you're going to see it, Elisha live a life of persistent and intentional life. Persistent and intentional. Kindly type in our comment section if you're following me, church. Kindly type it in our comment section. Persistent and intentional. The fourth example or illustration in the life of Elisha is a life. A persistent life and an intentional life to do things for the glory of God. For you to receive an impartation of the Holy Spirit, you must be persistent. You must be intentional. Hello? Andiyan po ba kayo? And if you're going to see it, this is a discipline. Okay? It is an exercise of discipline. Believing Elisha will receive, he never take away his eyes to God and to the men of God and he Follow them. If we're going to see it, mababasa nyo po sa binasa natin sa 2 Kings, maririnig nyo, the sons of the prophets, when they go to other place in the battle, you will hear the sons of the prophets. Ang sinasabi nila, your master will be caught by the Lord. Bakit ka pa sumasama? That's what they're telling to Elisha. Even, see this, persistent and being intentional. Even he hears some rumors, yet he decided to be with the man of God. Even though he see, he hears, I mean, even though he's hearing rumors, even though he understands that one day, Elijah will be caught up by the Lord, yet Elijah decided not to leave, to be persistent and be intentional, to get and ask the anointing, the double portion of anointing, and the impartation that comes from God through the servant of the living God. That's why you will see in the life of Elisha, he is persistent. He is intentional. Hello, po ba kayo? That's why we will never leave God. As God never leave us, we must not leave the man of God and even God himself. We must keep going. We must keep going and doing what God wants us to do in able for us to receive the impartation from the glory of the living God. Though there are times we can feel discouragement in our surroundings. Diba may mga time you can feel na ikaw mismo madadown ka sa paligid mo. But again, you have to be persistent in able for you to receive the impartation of the Holy Spirit, you must be intentional and you must be persistent. Like in Luke chapter 18, I will never forget this this passage. In Luke chapter 18, the widow girl, right? You're going to see it because he's persistent. Keep asking to the judge, the judge who doesn't know the Lord, but yet because of being persistent, asking every single day and intentionally deciding to come and to come to the judge, then one day, one day, 
he received what she was asking for. And I believe today, if we will just keep going and going and doing intentionally what God wants us to do, even in spite of chaos, even in spite of troubles, even in spite of trial circumstances that we are experiencing right now, but we decided to be persistent and to be intentional in doing things for the glory of the living God, I believe it's time for us to experience the impartation of the Holy Spirit. Are you there, church? I believe that God tonight is working to each one of us. Something in our heart, something in spirit has been stealing. Hello, andyan po ba kayo? I sense right now na para na nararamdaman natin na para tayo nandun sa sitwasyon ni Elijah ngayon at ni Elijah that Elijah will be cut up by the living God and you will receive the mantle and the anointing the double portion of the anointing of the living God. So again, enable for us to receive the importation in the life of Elisha, we can learn the best example. These are the four things enable for us to receive the impartation or to seize the impartation of the Holy Spirit. First, commitment. Second thing, sacrifices. Third, servanthood. Then lastly, being persistent and intentional for the glory of the living God. I believe tonight God is looking for a people that will be a channel or carrier of His glory. And he is much willing to impart his heart, not just his power, not just anything else, but his heart and power to everyone who is available for him to receive and seize the impartation. My question today, my question tonight, church, are you the people that God is looking from heaven? Are you that person that God is looking from heaven? That you will become a channel, that you will become a carrier of His glory and His heart. That every time you come, every time you step in the room, hello, atmosphere will be changed. Every time that you step in the room, sicknesses will flee. Hello, every time we step in the room, bad spirit, an evil spirit, even the unclean spirit will flee because you have carried the glory and the anointing of the living God. Tonight, I believe that God is searching for you. God is looking for you. Now is the time for us to cease and receive the impartation of the Holy Spirit. Once we have known the Holy Spirit and understand Him, it's time for us to receive the Holy Spirit. Like Elisha, if you're going to read sa mga succeeding verse po, and when he received the mantle, when he get the mantle, what the anointing in Elijah's life, what God has done in Elijah's life, Elisha saw it also in his life. And a double portion take place and happens in his life. Tonight, I really sense that the Holy Spirit is moving tonight. I really sense the power of the Holy Ghost is stealing every heart right now. I really sense that God is in this place. Shekata Rabba Shondarayan He Rabba Shoto Robo Shondarayan O Robo Shoto Robo Sota Rabba Shiti Rabba Yandarabba Se Yes, Father in heaven, I thank you. Lord, sa bawat isang nakikinig ngayon, I really sense right now that you are stealing the inner, innermost being that they have. You're stealing every spirit right now because they're receiving something from you. Tonight, God, in Jesus' name, this will not be a hindrance. Even this is virtual. I really sense that you are working to each one of us. You are working to our mind. You are working to our spirit. You are working to our inner being so that our lives will become a carrier of your glory. Lord, this is your moment. Lord, this is your time to each one of us. Have your way, God. Have your way to every one of us. Have your way to each one of us. Let this hand be your hand. Let this mind 
mind be your mind. Let this heart be your heart. Let this lip be your lips. And let this being be your being. Holy Spirit, have your way to each one of us. So that we will have an impact to this world. Father, right now in Jesus' name, I sense the mighty touch. I sense the mighty moving right now in Jesus' name. You are the Deposited something in our lives tonight. Lord, I pray that you will seal it. I pray that you are going to seal it in every lives today. As we cease and receive the importation of the Holy Ghost, we will go, we will go, and we will move all for your glory alone, God. Father, we thank you for the victory. We thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who made everything possible in our lives. And thank you for the Holy Spirit who's working deep within us, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you honor. We give you worship, dominion, and authority, and even our whole being. To you all these things, O oh God. That's all we pray in Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen, and Amen, and Amen, and Amen. So God bless you all guys. I hope that you are blessed through the word of the living God. And if you are blessed, just kindly type to our comment section, even to our YouTube right now. Type kung paano po kayo pinagpala ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng salita niya. How the Lord imparted or imparts something to your life tonight. Because I could really sense that God is doing in our inner being tonight. And before we continue to leave, wag po natin kakalimutan to subscribe, like to our channel. Again, if you're not yet a subscriber, po, GK Fired Up TV, our official channel po sa ating YouTube. Then, kindly share it po sa mga nakasubscribe na po. Keep watching our videos. And if there is an ad, wag nyo pong i-skip. Keep watching lang po because it will be very help to our ministry right now. And keep sharing ito pong mga videos po natin if you are blessed tonight. And if you are also blessed, we have this GCash account or ating bank account if you are blessed kindly give us or i mean i mean uh if you are blessed by the word of the living god you can give through this account gcash account excuse me and even to our bank account it will be a big help for the ministry of the living god here in our life or in this ministry po. again we are raising if you're not knowing right now i inform you that our church or Elgising Kabataan himself is uh, raising up a project for our, our, our center right now, for GK Center and even for JCPSMI Center. We are raising for 20 million pesos. I know that, uh, that, 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 that price is just small, too small for our God because nothing is impossible to our God. We have faith that God is able to do the impossible things to each one of us. So again, guys, I thank you for coming in this uh, in this service and I hope that you will continue to support the activities and the service that we have 10 a.m. every Sunday. We have our service 3 p.m. every Friday Arcade Story. Every Tuesday in Gising Kabataan fan page po. Na po meron po tayo laging Gising Kabataan Live at napakainit po ng mga talakayan at storyahan po sa ating GK Live. Keep supporting our ministry let this social media be flooded by the activities of heaven and advancing the kingdom of the living god and tonight so much for tonight i hope that everyone is blessed shall we all raise up our hands and bring back the glory to our god as we say all glory all honor all power all praises all worship and all thanksgiving belongs to Jesus Christ and everybody says Amen and Amen and Amen God bless you all to God be the glory